मिस्टर संजीव हार्टी कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑन सिक्यूरिंग ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन इन गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जामिनेशन इन द बायोमेडिकल पेपर एंड ऑल्सो ऑल इंडिया रैंक फोर नाइंटी टू इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन बट फर्स्ट प्राइज इन द बायोमेडिकल हार्टी कंग्रेचुलेशन मिस्टर संजीव इट सीम्स यू हेव टेकन फ्रॉम एस अकेडमी द एस ऑनलाइन self uh, yes, based sir. the course of a pre carded lecture yes, uh, yes, that in a instrumentation engineering paper yes sir so you please tell us you have taken coaching in the instrumentation engineering and you couldn't get such a good rank in the instrumentation paper but you got a first rank in the biomedical you please yes, tell us what are the common subjects between the biomedical and their instrumentation engineering and what extra you have to study there for biomedical yes sir uh, so yes sir uh, so when we talk about common subjects uh, subjects like um, network theory control systems signals and systems analog electronics digital electronics uh, measurements all these are common subjects and some extent sensors is also a common subject sensors and optical instrumentation uh but the uncommon subjects are the subjects that are there only for biomedical or uh, uh, biomedical instrumentation uh, medical imaging human anatomy physiology uh, biomechanics and biomaterials approximately can you quantify what what percentage is the instrumentation subjects uh, uh, sir i can uh, say biomedical approximately yes sir uh, i can tell 60 to 65% roughly so 60 to 65% of syllabus is common between instrumentation and the biomedical So the remaining thirty-five or forty percent, you have to study extra for the biomedical. Yes, paper. sir. Yes, sir. So did you study that extra portion? Yes, sir. Yes, biomedical? sir. Biomedical. So actually, the thing is that my main focus was biomedical only. I initially thought of giving IN, but then I changed my mind to give BM later. So uh, AS Academy, like I took the help of these common a few common subjects like sensors and all because we don't get those type of lectures anywhere else. Sir. So. and the quality was also very good and sir solved all those problems all that was there so that really helped so the remaining uh, the core bm subjects uh, i took coaching elsewhere from a person and then i prepared it on my own okay. through recorded videos i think what is your btech specialization which branch of engineering uh, electronics and instrumentation electronics and instrumentation so you can say instrumentation engineering yeah yeah instrument right okay so if you compare the standard of the paper of instrumentation and the biomedical so which one you felt uh, more tough relatively uh, sir the thing is like when we we can only compare on the basis of uh, common subjects because unco- like those that are not that's common what i'm asking common subjects only yeah yeah common, common subjects uh, in is slightly uh, this time it was uh, higher than bm i guess okay so instrumentation pep subjects were somewhat uh, tough right yeah Compared yeah this the time and uh, they changed the weightage also totally so uh, this time it was a little higher weightage i mean higher okay. difficulty right so can you uh, tell something more about this uh, as uh, self paced uh, course that you took a uh, 6 months uh, subscription so how this uh, pre recorded classes uh, the video lectures helped you in your preparation and securing such a rank yes sir uh, so uh, the reason i took pre recorded was because uh, i wanted to do it at my own pace and there was very less time uh, for the gate examination i can say so and uh, so it really helped me in clearing so many loopholes that i had in my concepts like in various subjects like digital analog and all that uh, so it actually gave me a very good hold of the concepts like derivation proof and like why exactly it was happening like this and all those like conceptual things uh, apart from that uh, i wasn't able to take the test series because i was out of time uh, but i really know that uh, i just went through few of them and i really felt that they were like tailored for gate because i have given gate from third year itself from 2022 so i have an idea of what they ask how they ask in the exam and i felt that as academy test series was like very good because they don't go very overboard neither do they ask under the level it's perfect so i i could it really helped me a lot i can say okay this all india first rank in biomedical uh, how many marks you got uh, sir my marks are 54.33 54.5 what is the score gate score uh, it is 1000 Gate score thousand. Yes, sir. Okay. This instrumentation four ninety two rank. How many marks you got? Uh, that was I think forty five point six seven. Okay, right. So the difference between these two biomedical instrumentation in terms of marks is around uh, 
right? Around nine, yeah. Around nine, around nine, nine to ten marks. But rank wise, it is very phenomenal difference, right? <laughs> good. So, what are you going to do with this all India first rank in biomedical? Uh, sir, I'll apply for IAC, IITs. So, which for specialization you are going to? Uh, probably MTech only. MTech, which specialization you are going to likely? Uh, sir, uh, that I am not yet decided. Maybe something in instrumentation or robotics or electronic system design, something. Good, good. So, you are because you got a score of 1000. Yes, I sir. think you will definitely get whatever you choose, Hopefully, sir. depending upon the eligibility of the biomedical paper. It uh -huh. is ensured that, right? Biomedical paper eligibility for the specialization uh -huh. that you wanted. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. That you kindly ensure. Uh, uh, Mr. Sanjeev, see, in these pre recorded uh, videos, per day on an average, how many hours you used to watch? And while watching the videos, how you used to prepare the notes? And how we used to do the revision work also. Can you please throw some yes, light on this? Uh, sir, mine was a very, like, I can say very quick version because I told you, right, I joined a bit late and I made up my mind to give BM in October time. So after that, the I was like, uh, I, I was studying for at least like uh, in, in the time of uh, September, October, it was 12 to 13 hours per day. And then after that, it was, it went on to 15 hours per day. So in that, at least I think... Uh, around five to six hours of uh, watching the lecture because after that, the mind cannot focus more. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you did a very rigorous preparation in the last <laughs> yes, October sir. onwards. Good. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. While watching the videos, uh, while in, while in, the, in the preparation stage, right? Like so literally every word. The doubts uh, there. Yes, sir. So, yes, uh, platform has some, what you call app also to get the doubts clarified. So to what extent do you, do you utilize this uh, I, I used to, I, I used to uh, bug, the te bug the teachers a lot, like constantly asking doubts, like, because uh, I wanted, I had so many doubts that I wanted to get concepts of clarity. And like, I know that people at Ace Academy are well versed. So like, this is, was, this was a golden opportunity for me. So, and most of them were so like friendly that they gave me their WhatsApp numbers. I used to call them, send voice messages and all that. So <laughs> it was very, so you had a good inter interaction with our faculty members. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, Actually, Trinath sir only like I sent him the result first. Like uh, so, I think he forwarded it to the higher authorities. Okay, good, 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 uh, Mr. Sanjeev. Uh, I mean, uh, you, did you prepare any short notes specifically for this revision? Sir, work? actually, I was out of time, but uh, I prepared for very few subjects. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way I prepared was that, uh, like again, I told you right. I unfortunately didn't get time to solve bits and bytes. I heard a lot of about it. But I, I solved uh, pre vqs of EC, double E, and IN like three, three times uh, each one of them. And then based on that, I prepared the short notes. Like okay. which concept is asked more and where, where, which area are they trying to test? So on that, I prepared my short notes. Okay. And one more thing we want to know on which date did you take the instrumentation paper and on which date did you take that medical, biomedical paper? <laughs> it was on the same day. So like I was totally exhausted that day. <laughs> Uh, uh, first thing. was BM. Fortunately, it was BM first. So first three years was like good. And then we had two hour gap and then it was IN again. So IN last one hour, I lost my mind. I started making so many silly mistakes. And... Uh, <laughs> that could be one of the reasons for such a I, I personally a so. disappointment in the instrumentation. Paper. <laughs> yes, anyway, nothing to regret because uh, yeah, yeah. you got a first rank. Nothing to regret. Yes, Very sir. good, uh, Sanjeev. Thank Very you, glad to you. know about your uh, hard work in this. Uh, Sanjeev, uh, See, on the day of the gate examination, in let us say first uh, biomedical paper, uh, what was your approach while solving the questions? Did you okay, follow uh, so, the quick order? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so my approach was very standard, like all teachers would suggest this. So what I did was that first I went through the, so there is one option in uh, in the gate official portal like, uh, when we take the mock test and all. So they actually have an option called question paper. So when we click on that, we can actually see the whole paper like, uh, all the questions, whatever are there. So I kept on scrolling to get an idea of whether the paper is actually easy or is it tough this time. And then that gave me an idea that, okay, this time paper is moderate, not very easy, not very tough also. And then I started by attempting very easy questions. Like I look at the question, I know that this is the answer. I click it there and then I move on. So that was the first round of iteration. Second round of iteration were those type of questions which are easy, but I need to use pen and paper. Third round of, uh, I mean, the third round was that, uh, it is moderate, it is not very difficult, but if I can think, I'll get the answer. So that was the third round. And the fourth round was like fully difficult type of questions. Good. Finally, Sanjeev, so from this successful journey, uh, 
can you please share some preparation tips and uh, some suggestion to the other aspirants of the gate examination yes sir uh, sir i would say that uh, my main motivation like i am from a very religious background i believe in bhagavad gita whatever krishna has told and i solely studied because i have that passion to learn the subject and you know i want to work in that area so i suggest students that instead of thinking what rank i also did not expect i'll get all india rank one so i studied with that passion that i want to master the subject i want to learn it to the fullest level and with that i just kept on working hard following whatever teachers told so my advice is that please follow what your teachers say please follow what the toppers are told and then it's definitely going to work out that that is what i would like to say good sanju thank you for sharing the valuable tips right thank you sir. and interacting with us and uh, i once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank you sir god thank bless you, you sanju thank you sir can we our best wishes to your parents also definitely sir thank parents, you parents friends and the teachers who are instrumental in your success yeah yeah sure okay take care thank you thank you sir